Hello and welcome to this NASA Office of Inspector General discussion on the COVID-19 pandemic's impact on NASA's major programs and projects. My name is Ross Weiland and I'm the Assistant Inspector General for Management at the NASA OIG. I'm joined today by the team from the NASA OIG's Office of Audits who are responsible for this report. That team includes Project Manager Adrian Dupree and analysts David Liu and Sarah Hughes. Welcome to you all. The COVID-19 pandemic has been an unprecedented event with global impact, and in a very real way at NASA, an impact that reaches beyond our home planet. In general terms, the COVID-19 pandemic has and will result in an estimated $3 billion in related costs, impacting NASA, NASA's supply chain, and NASA's international partners. And while there appears to be some light at the end of the proverbial pandemic tunnel, NASA centers in large part remain closed with the majority of NASA staff continuing to work from home. Let's kick off this discussion with project manager Adrian Dupree. Adrian, why this report and why now? Thanks, Ross. We wanted to identify how NASA's programs and projects are being impacted by COVID-19. We decided to focus our review on the reported estimated impact to 30 of the agency's major programs and projects as of the end of fiscal year 2020. NASA major programs and projects are those with a life cycle cost of at least $250 million. We wanted to review and quantify estimated COVID-19 related costs, project life cycle delays, and the impact to NASA's contractors and partners. Adrian, in the report, the team discussed 18 ongoing NASA projects that literally take us from our own oceans to the International Space Station, our moon, Jupiter's moons, the sun and beyond to the beginning of time with the James Webb Telescope. How did your team bring all of this together in one report? Sure, Ross. To determine COVID-19's impact on NASA's major programs and projects, we reviewed documentation project officials provided to the Office of the Chief Financial Officer regarding any schedule, cost, and partner COVID-19 related impacts. We also reviewed the agency's baseline performance reviews and monthly quarterly COVID-19 impact tracker reports. To obtain a better understanding of the information officials provided regarding the impacts, we sent an email survey to program and project managers. Thanks, Adrian. And while the COVID-19 pandemic has added significant costs to NASA's bottom line, it's not all doom and gloom, is it, Sarah? Not at all. Despite the immense challenges of this last year, NASA and the rest of the world watched both the successful launch and landing of the Perseverance rover. Back in July 2020, NASA and partners made this possible by avoiding launch delays they did this by prioritizing launch critical operations, shifting some work to after the launch, and incorporating significant workarounds. And these workarounds looked like extensive safe at work practices and the use of dedicated cargo aircraft to transport hardware between sites. Thanks, Sarah. But even with the success of Perseverance, NASA still has to deal with on COVID, ongoing COVID-19 based challenges, correct? Definitely, many NASA projects experience wide ranging challenges. NASA has an Earth Science Satellite Mission that will measure changes in sea level. This important project faced significant challenges from temporarily suspended activities to travel restrictions. For example, project activities stopped for both NASA and international partners. And while these activities have since restarted, the project continues with limited on site and mandatory telework. Additionally, the project is unable to complete certain activities that require on-site participation with partners due to both domestic and foreign travel restrictions. This has led ultimately to a delay in launch by about four months. Thanks, Sarah. Turning to you, David, the impact of COVID-19 at NASA is not limited to the home front. What can you tell me about the extended impact to NASA's supply chain and its various partners from around the world? Sure thing, Ross. So domestic and international partners have been affected just like NASA in terms of facility shutdowns, telework inefficiencies, and delays in building hardware. For example, the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, which will follow Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope in providing unprecedented views of the universe, is estimating over $400 million of additional costs, in part due to significant impacts procuring contracts, completing assembly of parts, as well as extended delivery times on hardware from contractors. Also, the Indian Space Research Organization, which is an international partner of NASA, has experienced delays with building a radar for an Earth science project, and they anticipate a seven-month delay in delivering this to NASA. 
Thanks, David. And what can you tell us about the most powerful rocket ever built, NASA's Space Launch System, or SLS? Absolutely. So the SLS, which is a major component of the Artemis mission, which will put the first woman and the next man on the moon, uh, estimate over $350 million in costs due to facility shutdowns, schedule readjustments, and rephasing production. And one of their major concerns is the delivery of the core stage to the Kennedy Space Center. Also, the Orion crew vehicle, which will actually carry the astronauts on top of SLS, reported domestic contractor supply chain delays, as well as European COVID restrictions, which is affecting delivery of this service module. In total, the program is estimating $141 million of future cost impacts. Thanks, David. It's been just over a year since NASA has been dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic and its substantial impact. The CARES Act provided some relief in the amount of an additional $60 million in funding to NASA. That's still a long way from covering $3 billion in COVID-19 related costs. Adrian, will give you the last word. What is the outlook for NASA and its major projects going forward as we emerge from this pandemic? Sure, Ross. Due to the continued uncertainties around the pandemic, NASA will likely continue to experience impacts to its major programs and projects. However, NASA will not be able to quantify the complete impact on the, of the pandemic on its programs or projects until after the COVID-19 emergency has subsided. While we did not make any formal recommendations at this time, we encourage NASA to continue collecting accurate and comprehensive information to fully quantify the pandemic's impact. NASA management also needs to provide oversight and guidance to ensure mission directorates report COVID-19 impacts that are comparable and consistent across all directorates. We do plan to continue our efforts with monitoring the pandemic's impact on the agency and its programs and projects. Adrian Dupree, Sarah Hughes, David Liu, thank you all for your work on this eye-opening report. To view the full report, please visit the NASA OIG website at oig.nasa.gov. Thank you for watching.